Hello and welcome to part 12 of the Gage 1 LMS carriage build. And you can see now that we've finished the painting on the roof, which has come out uh, reasonably well, what I was hoping to, hoping to see. Um, also, I've added the, the roof vents on the top, so they're all done. The next thing we need to start thinking about is what's underneath the carriage. So far it's a pretty blank canvas. So there's a, quite a few things to do under here and I'll just go through and explain what I'm talking about. Okay, let's do a quick sketch. We've got basically our carriage here, like so. Now we need to fix some little pegs on here to take the mounting for the wheels. And the wheels are going to go on there, like that. And also, if you see these carriages, there's a framework. Sit something like that. And that has various bits and pieces under there. But the main thing it has under here is usually the battery box. The battery box there. And you can also see uh, a little dynamo that sits there. Also, there's the soul bar to go on which is, runs along there, and the buffer beams, which goes on there. So there's a fair bit of in bits and pieces that have to be fitted on. So where we've got to, I've made the mounting points for the, uh, for the wheels. These are simple, this is just a simple piece of aluminium, aluminium disc with a stud put in. So they'll go to to make those for the wheels. Other thing I've done also is for the buffers. I was able to recycle some buffers. These are like the uh, these parts that hold the buffers. Now the original buffers on here were nasty little plastic things. Um, so what I have done, I've started to make some replacement proper metal ones. So I've got the basic part of it turned initially. Just turn this turn this down from a half inch piece of steel bar, put a little thread in there and made the buffer then. And the buffer then fits in here. So that looks uh, sprung as well. So that looks a lot better. That looks a lot neater. The other thing I've done also is made, these are just a piece of dowel, just polished up. Uh, this is going to represent the dynamo, so that'll be the dynamo part of it. For this carriage that goes underneath, I've made a simple jig, or a simple fixture. And you'll see this in action a little bit later on, because this will hold our pieces of brass angle in place while we solder them up otherwise you've not got enough hands to hold everything together so we'll see this in action a little bit later on so there we are so we shall start by putting the buffer beams on and the sole bars so here's our our buffer beams that you might remember we made these several episodes ago so these are going to fit onto here on this end and we shall fit the other one on this end and then what will also go on are the cell bars I think we saw these in an earlier episode so I shall fit those onto here cut these to length so that's the job we will do next right there's the cell bars put on and the buffer beams are now on and also the mounting positions for the wheels for the bogies to go on so that's looking reasonable so that will fit on there and what i have to do is next one of the next things to do is just work out the height for where these bogies actually sit 
further where these bogies actually sit on the on the chassis just to get the height right but that's something we shall do a little bit later on but that's the cell bars the buffer beams and the mounting points for the for the bo for the bogies and that is coming along that's coming along pretty good makes a difference now with those cell bars on there going to start making this uh, undercarriage framework now. I've uh, got my jig fixture. First thing I need to do is just cut some angle pieces to the length just using this fixture as a guide as the length they need to be. So I will cut those to length. I've got the bottom piece cut. I so say I've just used the fixture as a as a guide for the, for the length that it wants to be. And what we can do now is using the fixture again is to get the length of these pieces on here. So we can take that one there and just loosely clamp that in position. Throw that onto there and just clamp this on. All right. And with our hacksaw, we can now just put a mark on there. This is the point where we've got to, we have to bend this. So that puts a mark on there. And basically what we've got to do now is put a little V in there to allow us to bend this round. And should hopefully this triangular file should do pretty good for what we want. Okay, we've got our little notch in there now, and that's the point where we can make our, our fold. And while we're in position now we can just mark that as to where the next bend is going to go. Just throw that onto the, that notch there. That's about where we need to be. And we'll cut our next little slot out. As we bend it round our former, we can just cut this little end off. Now we have our outside frame fixed onto here and held on there, held in our fixture and so what we can do now is solder this up. Solder 9 hopefully is hot enough so we'll just put a little tack on here just on the end. The only soft solder we're using will be more than sufficient for what we need. And we'll just do the other end as well. All right, what we have now is our two pieces soldered together. And we can put these back in the frame to just measure the pieces, the length that we want, or the width, which is what we're going to do now. So we'll put these back in the frame and get the cross pieces soldered in. Again, what I've used for the cross pieces is our nickel silver wire, which looks just about right in terms of the thickness. Just cut that to length and dropped it into position here. And so these are in our fixtures held nice and firm. So we can solder these up now. I've left a little bit just sticking out the end just to give me a little bit of meat to solder on. 
And what we'll do, we'll put this, solder this first one on, solder this side on first. Again, just a little bit of flux on here. And a tiny blob of solder just to go in. On the jig I've got little cutouts in the wood so the metal isn't directly touching. Got a good old blob on there, that's plenty. We can file some of that off later. Do some on the other side. Okay, here's the frame so far. And you can see now I've put these cross pieces in uh, using our nickel silver wire. And all that remains to do now is just put the end pieces of angle in there and we're done. Okay, there's the underframe now. Pretty well completed. All soldered up and it helped enormously using that uh, fixture that I made. So that's one of the frames. All I've got to do now is make another two. So that's how I made those. What I have done, I've made a little prototype uh, battery box. This is just the first one just to see what that looks like. And that will slot into here. Something like this. That will just be a fit in there. And that fat fits in like so for the battery box underneath. Here are our cradles for underneath the carriage now. These are all painted as you can see I've made the three of them now and painted them all up. So I'll give these another 24 hours just to get a little bit harder to dry a little bit more but they're, they're obviously dry enough but we'll uh, let them get a little bit dry, a little bit tougher. So there's our three cradles done. The other thing I've decided to do, I was looking on the on the internet and I decided to put some of the other, there's more stuff that goes underneath the carriage. Uh, these are the, uh, I believe this is part of the vacuum brakes. This is from a different scale um, model. This is from 4 mil scale, it's far too small for mine. These look like they're made out of white metal. Um, and they look fairly straightforward to, to make. Um, so I've been busy making some and all it is is a piece of dowel just turned to the diameter just put a little groove in there put a radius on and a little stub on there and also going to make a little cradle a little cradle that fits in there out of um, plastic card which we shall glue together in shape and uh, they look quite good when they're painted up so that's the job I'm working at at the moment. Here's the coaches now with their undersides finished off now. So we've got the wheels mounted, they're in position and ready. We've got the the, the, the vacuum brake in position there. There is some more um, bits and pieces that go on there, but I'm not going to fit that extra bit of detail uh, because I don't believe you'll actually see that uh, when it's on the track. Got the battery boxes fitted in the, the underframe now, they're all fitted in the underframe. And we've also, just for a little bit of detail, added the generator, the little dynamo that uh, there's normally fitted on these as well. Just thought I'd put the coach outside on the track in the daylight so you can get the full effect of the equipment mounted underneath. Uh, there you can see the vacuum brake and a little bit of the dynamo. Moving across, you can see the battery box there underneath the cradle and the other vacuum, part of the vacuum brakes there. I think also the black mat, uh, that's come out quite well. That looks, uh, that looks pretty good, along with the blackened wheels.